This is a recipe for cheesecake, almond cheesecake. It is creamy, it is delicious. It does take three stages to make because it has three layers. It is keto, it's low carb, and here is the first layer. The first layer is uh, the crust. So you will need coconut oil, uh, cacao, and uh, almond flour. So in this uh, pan, I'm gonna measure, it's a one, two, three measurements. So there are two, there are two tablespoons of coconut oil that I'm gonna put right here. One. Oh God, I, I, I poured it on there. Two. All right, that was not so smart. Is this, what's the direction that it's small? You turned it <laughs> off, it's off now. Oh, really? On. Okay, good. So, okay, so I put this uh, uh, coconut oil in there. Sorry about the mess. Then I'm taking one, so this is two. One is the, oh, that's a little bit too much. One is the chocolate, so the cocoa. So this is a uh, one tablespoon of cocoa, more or less. I think hmm. I'm going to take it completely out of the fire. Yeah. And then you're going to mix this all together. Add stevia if you need to, or any kind of sweetener, low carb sweetener that you want. And to that, you're gonna add three tablespoons of almond flour. So I'm just gonna add from another spoon, I'm gonna add some until I feel, it doesn't matter actually the measurement, you're gonna put as much almond milk as it requires you be able to have the consistency of a play-doh but you start with three so I'm mixing it together and and you see it's still too too liquidy so I'm gonna add some more almond flour maybe another teaspoon Oh, it begins to be a little bit better. So I'm going to add a little bit more, another teaspoon. Until I feel that the consistency is just the one that I, you see, it begins to be more doughy. Once you have this, a little bit more. Maybe a tiny bit more. All right, now we have it. So I'm gonna pour this into my ramekins. And then this goes to the oven, 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spread this. And then I'm going to take a little bit more for this ramekin. I guess. Wonderful. Okay, and then the last one. For well, that ramekin. Of almost you no know, nothing left for it.
we're gonna get a little bit more here. Okay. I have to use my hands to kind of spread. <laughs> Spread that thing around. <laughs> you see, all you have to remember is one, two, three. I'm going to take a little bit of this one, put it in there, in here. And then we have it. So this goes into the oven, 350 degrees, and I'll show you when, it, when I come out. Here they are. I took them out of the oven and they're cooling. You need to cool them completely, completely before you are uh, doing the next stage of the cheesecake layer. We're gonna make the main part of this cake now, and that's the cheesecake with some almond peanut butter. And instead of heavy cream to fluff up the cheese, we are going to, to use coconut cream. The cheese is almond cream cheese, and it's about eight ounces of this, four ounces of this, and two ounces of this. So it's, it's basically, Eight for two. Since we are going to start by whipping this coconut cream. Cheese is dense and tangy. Cream is fluffy, and you want to put air and fluff into your cheesecake. So that is this is what we are going to do. The cheese we we actually take out of the refrigerator three or four hours before we use it. So it has to be warm. The coconut cream has to be in the refrigerator. And I froze that uh, a bowl in which I'm going to whip the cream. So it's not a, a accurate science. You can, I'm, I'm now going to take four more or less tablespoon. I'm not going to be... The more creamy, the better, right? And I'm gonna whip it now. I don't have actually an electric whip, so I'm going to use it with a, <laughs> with this. And try not to spill it anywhere. I put it on an inclined plane so that it will <laughs> so that I'll get some some <laughs> You see you see how it a little bit. We just need s some soft peaks. <laughs> to kind of you see I get some workout you see how it it, it, it kind of grew up in uh, in volume need patience for this. I think I will call it a day. It's 
Sribony. What do you say? Maybe more? Just until it starts spilling out of there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I will call it I will perfect. call it the perfection. All right, I didn't finish yet with this. I'm going to take now the cream cheese which is uh, not cheese actually, it's uh, almond cheese made out of almond. <laughs> it's okay. You see, this is the challenges of life. Open the, yeah. Uh, that here. And now I'm taking the, the cheese. So as we said, eight ounces of that, four ounces of the of the almond butter. Uh, this whole thing is 16. How much is it? 16, I think. So I'll take about a, a quarter of this. Mathematics to how much uh, uh, cheese, uh, peanut butter, or almond butter do you want to put in your in your cheese? All right, so I'm uh, mixing it. And then I'm going to add the the whipped coconut cream. I'm gonna whip the whole thing together. Maybe I'll take the spoon out. So obviously this is the hardest part, but it's also not so hard. So you have the creaminess of the coconut cream being whipped a little with some air and the smoothiness and tanginess of the cream cheese together with the nuttiness of the almond butter. Of course you can take any butter you want Any nut butter, peanut butter. All right, we have the texture. And now we are going to uh, check it out for how much a sweetener do you want so I'm taking some stevia and I'll mix it <laughs> so here you are to anyone that thinks that they are the worst in the world I can show you here you go I love it what can I say tangy creamy now it's time if you remember we had already these uh, ramekins. Do you think? Do you think that uh, that you 
it will be good if I add like a orange to it. No. Hmm? <laughs> or almond extract. So you see these ramekins uh, have been in the in the refrigerator and you see it's completely settled. So now I'm gonna put that in. So this is the cream cheese part of the cheesecake. I think that there is some <laughs> in there. Now when I'm thinking about it, I think maybe I should have folded the the coconut cream into the into the mixture not to lose air but to me it really looks fluffy much more than if it would just be the cream cheese and now we are going to fill that one in <laughs> and here we have it all we have to do is to make the ganache and put it over those so this is gonna be a chocolate ganache for uh, the almond butter cheesecake that's the last stage this is uh, a vegan keto recipe without any sugar and very little carbs here there is coconut cream that i'm heating up instead of heavy cream and i am going to cut some chocolate and once this cream melts i'm going to put this cream into a the chocolate pieces that I'm going to cut very small here. If you can look at the chocolate and just cutting it into very small pieces so that it will melt without being on the fire. Last time we saw how I, I, I melted chocolate on a double boiler. This time I'm not going to put it the chocolate in the fire. I'm going to put the chocolate in the hot cream so so the ratio of the cream to the chocolate is about a three creams two chop two thirds so I want to cut it really to small pieces here so that I'm sure that everything is gonna melt This is going to be a very rich, decadent chocolate ganache. So I am not sure how hot this is. Maybe I put it a little hot. I'm kind of losing my patience here. But I'm not going to put the chocolate into there. I'm going to put the chocolate into a cold place. I, I kind of want more and more chocolate. I think now it's about the right ratio. This, in order to get the coconut cream from the coconut milk can, you put the can in the refrigerator, the cream comes up and you just scoop the cream. Or you can buy a can of, of coconut cream. So we just have to be patient here. This is the sweetener I'm going to use. I'm going to use stevia. You can use any other sweetener of your choice. I'm going to put the chocolate into this. Container. And when the time comes. Oh, this begins to show some signs of uh, warming up. 
still not completely melted. But we have patience, don't we? So this chocolate ganache is going to uh, be the top layer of this uh, almond butter uh, cheese, cashew cheesecake. Looks like it's, uh, it's getting there. Let me get some uh, something to mix that up. Let's see. All right. So I I assume just this is boiling more or less simmering it does have some steam coming out of it maybe some bubbles here i, I can see some bubbles coming up and now it's the the big time so i have here my chocolate and i'm going to take this and pour it over the chocolate and a miracle is going to happen It's gonna, and I'm gonna mix it. It's gonna look a little bit bad in the beginning, but I promise you, this is gonna be creamy and beautiful chocolate ganache. Now you put as much sweetener as you need to. Now it looks like an amazing hot chocolate. You have to cool this down before you put it on the uh, on the cheesecake. I have adapted a, a recipe of uh, the Headbangers Kitchen. Mixed a few recipes. He he has wonderful keto recipes, but they are full of uh, dairy. Definitely not vegan. So this is an adaptation for those of us who are vegan. Okay, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Creamy, amazing. I'm gonna put some sweetener. And then I'll have to taste it to see if this is the Okay. Good. Good. So we have it. We have the ganache. We wait for it to cool and then we'll put it over the the cheesecake. It becomes thicker and thicker all the time. Almost over with this. So here is our chocolate ganache. Here is a ramekin with the uh, cheesecake that and I'm just gonna pour the chocolate the cool chocolate ganache over this cooled cheesecake which is not really cheesecake it's not the dairy cheesecake it's cashew cheesecake with almond butter instead of peanut butter. So that's how I'm going to fill all the ramekin. And uh, this is going to go into the refrigerator. Don't be tempted to taste this amazing concoction. Wait until it's cold. Finally, the wait is over. It's the next day and the dessert is ready. 
I put some Celtic salt on it and frozen uh, uh, raspberries and now I'm ready to, to take it in. So let me see. So if you can look. You can see the three layers here. The layer of the cheesecake peanut, uh, uh, almond, almond butter cheesecake. This is the crust, the cocoa crust. And I'm gonna tr take all of them in. Mm. It's creamy, it's chocolatey. just has the most amazing